Hello there, only one Kenobi, only one. And uh, this is a video tribute I'd like to do for Peter Mayhew who passed away. All the news kind of hit everybody mainly today, May the 3rd. Um, you should be getting this video on May the 4th, so I'll be at, hopefully, I'm gonna head down to the Echo Base live event, so I won't really be uploading tomorrow. So I'll upload this so that you can have this <laughs> as an upload for that day. I'm trying to do daily uploads, as you know, mostly aiming for 8 p.m. UK time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, but I um, will occasionally drop a video at a random time like this one will drop. But anyway, so Peter Mayhew passed away. This is really sad news indeed. Uh, dear Peter uh, is with us on set, as Harrison Ford said, for The Force Awakens. So he wasn't walking very well back then for The Force Awakens. And um, God love him. I would have loved to have met people like that. You know, uh, it's ironic I'm going to Echo Base tomorrow. I've never been to any kind of Star Wars, you know, public convention or whatever, anything like that. This will be my first, but for the fans out there who have met people like Peter and, you know, Kenny Baker and, and the like, you know, fantastic. And I'm sure you've got photographs and memorabilia. So treasure them, you know, it's fantastic. Um, so I just wanted to run through all the figures I have loose for, um, well, as you can see, there are some carded things here. I'll talk about them in a minute for Chewbacca and I will leave a link to Usual Mike Television, Just uh, I just saw his video, he has now the retro collection which is fantastic so the video link is for him unboxing it and the will of the force, <laughs> it really stepped in on that one because the first one he opened was the vintage, well the retro collection Chewbacca which was quite fitting, it was lovely, um, I'm really sad to say I don't have that figure loose, I did have that as a kid and I did have another one that I bought recently on eBay that I recarded and I've sold it. So I do not have a vintage, vintage old Chewbacca. The one that you see spinning is my favourite Chewbacca, so I'll go on that one first. And this is the only carded example I have for the vintage carded stuff for the modern era, which is this Return of the Jedi one. I cannot wait to get my hands on the new vintage collection of Chewbacca. I've been waiting a long time for a Star Wars chase for that. And Bosk's Bounty did a really good video on that as well. That's why I've put this in here as well, because that was pretty much a repack of that version. Um, so, brilliant. Let's get stuck into this. So, God rest you, Peter Mayhew, and you are one with the Force. And the Force is with you, most definitely. So, let's go. Firstly, on my favourite Chewie, this came with my Legacy collection. <laughs> no, it didn't. It came with my Legacy Falcon my legacy collection Falcon, and I think this is the best Chewbacca. Um, that facial s sculpt is brilliant. I, I, it's just, that is how he looked when he was, you know, f he, as a character, Chewie was, you know, a supporting role, wasn't he? he and he obviously didn't speak in any kind of, kind of human-like tongue, but he was there on the, on the side of Han Solo. You know, he, he was his bodyguard or accomplice or whatever, a companion for life. And that's the ironic thing about Chewie and Han. That's why with this display here, I've put a few hands in there as well, just to sort of, <laughs> because these two go together like Ebony and Ivory and Batman and Robin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> they they are just a mismatch. They don't look anything like, I mean, you've got like a, a guy, as Han Solo said, you know, in a monkey suit. I can't do I can't do Harrison for me. He talks in such a low. Mark Hamill can do a very good impression of Harrison, but you know he said he talks, doesn't he, Harrison Ford? He says, you know, it was just weird. You know, there was a guy in a monkey suit, and you know, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm still attempting to do a Han Solo impression. It's not working, um, but it's so true. And you know, George Lucas, he wanted that look, didn't he? He wanted to replicate himself with his dog Indiana in the front of his car. And he, it's brilliant, but they, they just, you can't have one without the other. So I love displaying them together. Um, I'll come back to him in a minute. I just would like to talk to you about these here. This is the Power of the Force 2 Chewbacca, which I never, but this is a recent acquisition, this. I won it in a massive job lot of Power of the Force 2 vehicles and the fella selling them, excuse me, I'll move that out of the way so it can focus. The fella selling them threw in a load of Power of the Force figures, so which I also subsequently sold on. But I kept the Chewie and the hand just because I thought, I've got a few Power of the Force 2 figures myself, and I didn't have these two, so I thought, well, I'll keep them and add them to a little diorama just of Power of the Force 2. Not, not that I like that figure, really, very, these figures very much. They're very bulky, and this is being played with a lot by somebody. There's a little bit of damage to his head or whatever, but I just couldn't get rid of them. 
you know, I just thought I'd keep them. Long story short, which is too late because I've waffled on. Uh, <laughs> moving on to two other figures now that, again, I keep. I used to have these displayed together as well. These are from the Power of the Jedi line, and it is this one here. I thought when I first saw that, which was, I bought this about 2004 in Wandsworth in London, in the entertainer there, and I was just looking through the shelves. Uh, you know, back in those days, there was no YouTube. I felt a bit of an oddball collecting. I was, you know, 23, and I thought, should I be really buying figures at this age? I didn't know anybody else who did it. Now, you know, you turn on YouTube, you can find a community of people who do it. And back then there was no... Well, actually, this line of figures had started, but I, it was just, I didn't even know that that vintage line existed. All I knew about were figures like this that were obviously in the shops. And I bought a Han, because I always wanted a Bespin Han. And I saw this Chewy with his welding thing, and I thought, wow. Because, oh, for fuck's sake, just... Oh, my language! Oh, my God, my language! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just dropped an F-bomb. Oh, and I could almost do it again. I'm getting angry now, man. Stand up, Chewy. <laughs> Now, this Chewy, I saw the head sculpt, and I thought, that's awesome. Because Chewy looks so different in Empire Strikes Back. You know, that weeping scene. The... When, he, when they close the Echo Base doors, and you just sort of see the love between, for, well, not between, you know what I mean, the, the care that he has for his companion Han. And Luke, you know, he was very sad, you know. Wookiees are uh, amazing creatures really they're very aggressive or angry or can get very easily angry one could argue that they're angry but they're also very um they're passionate aren't they and they're very soft and gentle and protective and caring to females in particular i like leia <laughs> so anyway that was just an awesome figure i liked it a lot and can somebody help me id this please i found this at I was over at my folks' house, and I have, I, I obviously don't live at home anymore. <laughs> Haven't for many years, for almost two decades now, but I found that there. I don't know what it is. I think it's a Kashikian gun. So I thought I'd put this in this little display. Let me know if you know what it is. That'd be awesome. Now then, this figure here is from the... I love the Shadows of the Empire as an expanded universe tale. I got this in a charity shop, but funnily enough, unbelievably, I got it in a charity shop carded. About five years ago, maybe, a local charity shop had a few Power of the Force figures from Shadows of the Empire. It was this one, and also L Luke in the Imperial City Guard outfit, that thing. But this Chewie, it is Chewbacca this, but he's got a completely different style going on. So I'll get the light on him a bit better. And uh, it's almost like it could be someone other than Chewie. It could be Chewie's cousin or something, you know what I mean? It looks totally different. Look at the flat top there. What is that? It's like 1980s Chewie. It's like Empire Strikes Back was in the 1980s. Or 1983. Just imagine, like, you know some films have aged badly, like the 80s films, and they make everybody look as bad as the fashions of that era. No disrespect if you thought those some of those fashions were good. I was born in 81, but some, you know what I mean, hairspray type looking films look rubbish. But anyway, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I think I'm turning into Alan Partridge. I'm absolutely talking babbling crap. What I'm trying to say is, wouldn't it be funny if there was a Chewbacca in a film looking like that, reflecting the era that it was made in, but it, that didn't happen. <laughs> Thank God. I don't really know what to make of that figure other than... It's for, a, it's for a Shadows of the Empire display only. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's all. Now then, this figure here was awesome. When I saw this in Hamleys, when I first moved to London in 2003, um, I think by that stage I'd bought a few figures because the Phantom Menace had been out, you see. But when I was in Hamleys and I saw the cinema, they I mean, they've aged, I wouldn't say aged badly, but they're... I mean, look, there's no articulation. In the box, when I saw them on the shelf, I thought, man, they look cool, I've got to buy them. And I did. I bought this, and I bought the... Bear with me. I bought that as well. The That, that was that was cool. I thought the helmet sculpt of this... It's supposed to be a Chewbacca review. I thought the helmet sculpt of that Vader was brilliant. I've never seen anything quite so good. Obviously, it's been beaten subsequently by others. Sorry, Obi, you've lost your lightsaber there. But anyway, so yeah. So I bought that, and I bought this. And I've opened them, obviously. <clears throat> they probably look better in the packaging. But, yeah, there's Chewie again, you see. And that is a really good replication of that classic shot of Chewie, which is 
that image there actually. And Han pointing his blaster. So that's pretty cool. Now then, let's go back to some of the more modern figures. Now this is this is where figures get good. Now you see when we get into this era, the sort of post 30th anniversary era when articulation started to kick off. Now this Chewie here is the one that they have repacked for the vintage collection. Uh, sorry, this is one I picked up at the Entertainer for three pound seventy-five. And then this is the figure here. Now this is the one they've repacked, as I say. It's a very good New Hope Chewie because the hair's all brushed back. The, as you'll see in Bosk Bounty's video, they have um, made him a little bit darker. Funnily enough, because this Chewie looks really fresh and vibrant and in his peak. His peak. He looks tidy, I think. He looks like his hair's kept, you know, I don't know. He just looks groomed. <laughs> um, I have this... Um, Chewy in my barge at the minute, the Katana sail barge, stood with young Han. And I think it works quite well because in that movie I thought Chewy looked absolutely amazing in that film. And uh, fresh. And so does this one. But the new one is apparently darker. And you'll see that in Bosk's Bounty's video, link below if you'd like to see it. They've repainted this, as I say, but darker. Um, and that's just about right for a New Hope card, representation of Chewy. And then we'll come to this one now at the back here. This is the one that, God, we thought we were going to be getting again. We thought they'd bloody repacked it again. Stupidly, but no, they haven't. This is um, the one I bought from the Force Awakens line of the Black Series. Let me just uh, explain a bit more what I mean. This line of figures here. They, re they repacked this Luke, and then they gave us that Chewie, and then the Kylo Ren, all on this... Red card, black series thing. Right about the time The Force Awakens came out, they started hitting the shelves in the UK. And I bought, this is, the, this is it. But it was, by all accounts, a repack of, yeah, there's nothing in it apart from, a, yeah, look, they are the same figure. More or less. I thought there was a difference, actually. I, I, I did. I don't know what the difference was. Let's have a look at them. There's really not much in it. They are identical. Maybe something, I don't know. So there you go. So this was the VOTC 2004. So they repacked that. And thank God they haven't repacked it again. But more or less, all Chewies follow a similar thread now. They've got a lot of articulation now. Several different, it's almost like they've got a double um, kind of chest crunch, you know. But um, So that is, a, that is a, that's it. So this is a really good Chewie. It's more for like the Return of the Jedi. Or you could even have him with the Force Awakens sort of hand if you want, if you, do, you really wanted. Not much in it. But um, what I'm just really glad about is that we're gonna get this image now on a on Star Wars Chase. I can't wait to get hold of mine. Don't have it yet, but look at that beautiful card there. Unpunched, beautiful. From a clamshell, so it's never been touched by anything until I open the clamshell at least. Um, so it's pretty minty, pristine, and we'll turn it round. And the funny thing is about these, these, um, the fact that it's on the uh, Return of the Jedi badge, back then, they're, they're basically Hasbro were tribute, doing a tribute to when they would recycle just an image. Now, I th well, hopefully they will recycle, they will change the image. Like if it's Return of the Jedi, they'll get a Return of the Jedi image of Chewie, you know, if he's on end or something. But back then they just <laughs> used the same image. They even had a Ben Kenobi figure with the Return of the Jedi badge. You know what I mean? And Ben Kenobi, apart from being a Force ghost, wasn't in the um, Return of the Jedi. Um, if that makes sense. So there you go, and there is the classic figure there. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that figure in this video, sadly. But hopefully when I get hold of the, um, what do you call it now? The retro collection, I will. So that's all I wanted to show you, and here he is again. I have this Chewie here. This is my favourite. I think Manny, MG Villain, told me where this figure has come from in the past. But I just know it from being in the Millennium Falcon, the Legacy Falcon there. And I have him in the cockpit, you know, it's awesome, sat with Han. And that is it, really. I just know that there's a scene with Jabba the Hutt, which I don't like that scene in New Hope. Solo! Right here, Jabba. You didn't think I was going to run, did you? Han Mabuki. I mean, when that first hit that scene, I, I thought, yeah, brilliant, wow. You know, the special edition, I loved it when it first came out. I thought, wow, this is so magic, seeing all these deleted scenes. In retrospect now, when I look back, I want them to take it out now with the official version of A New Hope. It's too quirky. 
it's better to leave Jabba till he appears in Return of the Jedi. But anyway, there's a scene or a shot of Chewie when he again he's there. I love Chewbacca. He's he is. Um, I love the way these two guys go together. You know, Chewie and Han, and he's watching his back, and he's vigilant, isn't he? And he walks behind Han, and he has that face, man. He pulls that sort of face. He looks at the situation. Han is surrounded by bounty hunters, one of which is Boba Fett. And it's obviously never not going to come to anything, but um, he's there anyway. But he just looks a bit like that there. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying this figure's based on that scene, but um, certainly he definitely hits the mark for A New Hope. This figure's awesome. That's my favourite Chewbacca figure. And on that note, I'll shut up. So thank you for watching this. Um, all the best. Thank you very much for watching, as I say. Rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. May the force be with you. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.